A familiar early morning sight for generations in Gaza, the territory's fishing boats returning to harbour. But unloading at the docks today is especially urgent. These nets haven't been used for nearly a week. The men and boys here were blocked by Israel's military from earning their living. For Hassam al absi his decision to stay home during the recent escalation in violence was also a show of solidarity for friends and neighbors. It was unavoidable. We couldn't just go to work on a day when there were people killed and others injured. We had to feel what others felt. But as soon as the airstrikes on Gaza ended, he and his crew started working. And he hasn't stopped to sleep since then. After 20 years of what he calls freedom at sea, Hussam hates being stuck on land. There are days that a fisherman's forced to stay at home because there's nothing to catch and it just costs diesel to sail. But there are lots of problems and troubles on those days at home because he can't provide for his family. About 100,000 people in Gaza rely in some way on fishing for their livelihoods. The catch is stacked at the docks, then moved to a nearby market. Crabs, sharks, shrimps and sardines are on the menu and the buyers are hungry. After several days of no business because of the bombardments, trading here is frenetic now as middlemen representing the boat captains sell the fish on to market traders. Abu Ali Al-Habil is one of the men in the middle of arguments and price haggling. The recent blockade on Gaza's fishing boats, he says, another problem alongside a fall in fish stocks. The previous week there was no work because there weren't any fish to catch. For fishermen that's a tragedy because you have family to provide for. Every escalation in fighting means normal economic life grinds to a halt. They stopped our livelihoods, they stopped our work, and suddenly we found ourselves in the middle of rockets. Rockets, war, war. Fresh morning fish, another reminder of what people in Gaza stand to gain when peace is possible. Willem Marx, Al Jazeera, Gaza. Well, one of the latest wave of violence in Gaza is a reminder.